Hello, my name is Alan Lance with Streamlight, the director of Streamlight's Fire and EMS Division Sales. I wanted to take a few minutes and give you a brief overview of the features and benefits of the Streamlight Survivor LED Right Angle Light. One of the advantages of the right angle light for the fire service is it provides hands-free operations for a firefighter. The idea being is that typically the light is clipped onto the gear because of the angle of the body of the light, it's hands-free operation, allowing them to see straight ahead without using their hands. The Survivor LED has been an icon in the fire service in the lighting categories since 1989. The LED version offers some distinct benefits over previous model right angle lights. First of all, the LED itself is a high output 3 watt LED with approximately 100,000 peak beam candle power and 100 lumen output. The runtime of the Survivor LED on the high setting is 3 hours. You hold down the mode button on the top, it will dim itself. Low output is 6 hours. It also has a signal or a flash mode built into it, which is another 6 hours of runtime. One of the advantages of the Survivor LED is the mode button or operation button is designed such that it can be easily operated while wearing a structural firefighting glove. This is a real challenge for firefighters as the dexterity in many of the firefighting gloves is such that it's difficult to operate equipment that has small switches that are hard to engage with a glove on. As you can see, Survivor LED can be operated with the forefinger with a glove, can actually be operated with a thumb, or even the clip can be open and shut using a structural firefighting glove. One of the other nice features of the Survivor LED is that it can run on four AA batteries, same runtime, and it can also run on a rechargeable NICAD battery. They're completely interchangeable between one another. To change the batteries out, simply push on the bottom of the battery door, release the clip, four AA battery pack looks like this. Insert the rechargeable battery pack, and you're back in business. So it gives you a lot of flexibility as an end user to decide whether you want to go with regular batteries, four AA alkalines, or the rechargeable NICAD battery pack. The door actually has a, uh, a recess on it on the battery, which matches up with the battery door itself, which won't allow you to put this in backwards. Survivor LED carries a Class 1 Division 1 approval, so if someone's interested in hazardous location trading, it's got that. For the rechargeable version, the charger base accepts this in. To release it, you push the button, pull it out. The charger base does meet NFPA 1901 for mounting on a fire apparatus. That's the Survivor LED. Thank you.